All right, we are in Brooklyn, top of the food chain. And we are going to Galaxy Comics. It has been here for like over 35 years. It's right next to the Alpine Cinema on uh, 5th and 68th. So we're gonna uh, grab some books in here. I've been here a bunch of times. It used to be called Mutant Mania back in the day, like in the 80s or early 90s. Uh, but now it's Galaxy Comics. It's always been here for like 35 years maybe. And we'll see, uh, they have a lot of indies in here and they have a nice selection of uh, new books and they have back issues. We'll go back issue hunting, we'll check out what we've got. Let's go check it out. movie candy I guess for the movies next door you can buy the candy here and sneak it in old school and we got plenty of books here did I miss something in the front it looks like they have a 50 cent bin here by the front window Let's see if I missed anything here oh invincible what's this and we got a wildstorm book there we go Magnus uh, robot fighter all right, and they have all a bunch of manga and uh, trade paperbacks and every uh, graphic novel you could want. They are stocked here. And all the new issues are in the middle aisle here, you see? They have all the big two and a bunch of indies. They have a bunch of uh, statues and statuettes and figurines. They are stocked here, and this is a nice space, right? Wow! Should I jump on this Spider-Man? They rebooted it again. But it hasn't been good in like 15 to 20 years, right, Spider-Man? I don't know if it's worth jumping on. They're on number three. Let me know in the comments below. Here's some 50 cent boxes in the bottom. Should we dive in there? Oh, Super Crooks. Look at this. Mark Millar. And next to it are dollar bin books. Go dive in the dollar bins here. And they have all these new books out. Symbiote Spider-Man, Spider-Punk. <laughs> I don't know, Spider-Man, X-Men, Wolverine, I really haven't followed that in a long time. I like a lot of the indies and the DC stuff. Oh, here we go. Kill Lock, here we go. A dollar book, number one here. And this is not the first series, it's the second series. The Artisan Wraith, Batman and the Outsiders, Green Lantern Corps. All these dollar books, man, they're in good shape, too. All right, we have some statuettes here. Let's pan around the store. Let's take a quick look around the store. All right, DC Multiverse statuettes there and uh, figurines. Scout's Honor, really cool indie book, number one. It was only like six bucks. I should probably grab that, right? And we have a World of Krypton here, the Venditti run. And we got a cable book. Cold Spots, looks like an image book. Look at all these Secret Wars here. Number six. And there are about 35 of them here. I should grab one of them. They're in mint shape, too. And it looks like they're selling them for cover. Or oh, I, th I think it said five bucks. Cold Spots, issue one to three. Look at this set here. Ten of Swords is a little Joe Hill indie book here, right? Or is this, uh, oh, this is DC Black Label, right? Refrigerators full of heads. Basket full of heads is really cool, actually. All right, we got some uh, more next to the 50 cent bin. We got a dollar bin here. A little whole Batman uh, mini box here. Is this a long box or a small box? Some Detective Comics or All-Star Batman. I don't know what kind of... Gonna skip that, right? All-Star Batman. Here's a Tom King run. Oh, Undiscovered Country is a great book. Snyder and Soul. This is a great book. It's like 15 bucks already. You have like two copies of that, though. And it looks like they have crossover here. That Donny Cates book is out. There's a uh, set. And here's Billionaire Island. Number one, cover B. Kind of a cool read. Crossover's out. That Donny Cates book? It's like 15 bucks. I already have that, right? And Silver City, I already have that. 
but they have all these number ones out if you wanna if you missed them. We only find them when they're dead. This is number one. It's like the let me open this up and check it out. This is the second or third print, I think. I think that was the fourth print. Remember these multiverse Robin King books? The Dark Multiverse? Those things were awesome, man. I collected all of them. Oh, here we go. This might be the first uh, cameo of Batman Who Laughs. I should grab that, right? I don't have, I don't, I don't have that book. Got some posters here. My Hero Academia. Blade. All right, really neat store. Well organized. Plenty of stuff. And I've been here a bunch of times. This is like a local shop here in Brooklyn. And they said this book was a low print run, but then they said it was a rumor. Is that Sean Murphy, Batman Beyond? It's on the fourth print. I don't know. Was that over rumors or was that true? All right, let's take a look around the store here. I love that Geiger indie book, right? That Jeff Johns book? It's a cool book, cool run. I've been following that. Stranger Things, we got number four, number three. All right, cool, they put out a lot of their books. A lot of their books, if the indies don't move or something, they'll, they'll leave the books out. So if you miss something from last month or the month before, they, a lot of times they have it out. There's uh, that Robert Kirkman book, Firepower. Paper Girls, and their uh, wall here, it goes, it wraps around the whole store. They have their wall books wrapping around the whole store here. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna should I grab one of these books. Anything cool in here? And we are back to the front here, the manga section. And the candy in the front here. Right, the movie candy, all the Funko Pop. And there is the front counter. We check out our books. Yeah, nice size store, right? A lot of nice space, nice and neat. And here is Death Note poster. Look at Death Note, it's awesome. And Hulk 181. All right, let's see what's in the case in the back. It's like uh, Gwen Stacy, a 9.8. All right. And in the front here, we have a display of uh, what, image books? It looks like sets. These are all sets. You notice they're running out of boards. So they're putting like five or six books in a magazine style bag and board to save on bag and boards. Just put five or six of them in a magazine style to save on individually putting on bag and boards. A lot of the comic shops are doing that now. I think boards are on a shortage or they're getting too expensive. Let's go to the front and buy my books. We'll go to the register here and I'll show you what I got in a second. All right, that place is always good. It never disappoints. They always have some cool new issues and some cool back issues. So uh, stay with me, and we'll go through the books. We'll see what I got. I'll show you what I grabbed. And uh, like and subscribe if you like the content here. Let's go check out the books. Two cool books here, The Powers Bureau by Bendis, and The Kill Lock, The Artisan Wraith, and uh, that Powers Bureau is on the Icon imprint. So uh, two kind of books here, and I grabbed that Invincible book. And um, the store didn't charge me for these. He said all three of these, he said I'll just throw these in. So they didn't charge me for these books, he threw them in. These were all in the dollar bin section, uh, or 50 cent bin section. But uh, he just threw them in, which is very nice. Very cool, right? I love these Invincible books, right? I don't really see the singles around that much, but he had like uh, 15 of them in that one bin. Um, like and subscribe if you like the content here. It helps out the channel and lets you know when I post new videos if you ring that bell. And then I grabbed Billionaire Island on the left here. That was a cool mini uh, indie, I thought. And that was like four bucks. And Secret Wars on the right there, uh, that was like eight bucks. But I think if this is mint, if this is above a nine, number six, this is like a uh, 70 or $80 book. And uh, it is somewhat of a key. It's the first cameo appearance of the second Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. 
and it's a death of the wasp. If you haven't read that book uh, from the 80s, Doom really comes out on top. Doom is like the greatest character arc in that series. He's so uh, clever in that. It's just a great read from the perspective of Doom. Uh, and then we have Dark Days uh, from the Death Metal uh, series on the left. And I really wanted that book. I didn't have it because it's the first cameo appearance of the Dark Multiverse Batman. Uh, the Drowned, the Dawnbreaker, the Red Death, the Batman Who Laughs, the Merciless, the Devastator, the Murder Machine, and second cameo appearance of Barbados, which I really love that metal uh, miniseries by Scott Snyder. And it's the first cameo, uh, really, in the shadows of Batman Who Laughs, which I thought was a great uh, character. I know people, some people thought he was played out a little bit. And we got Scout's Honor on the right there, number one, a great Aftershock book. And I had that series, but I thought I'd grab another of the number one, a double of it. It was a really cool read. If you haven't read that, uh, pick it up. It's worth uh, gra grabbing them. And here is a review of all the books I got. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I tried to be pretty quick. And uh, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. If that's your local LCS, let us know in the comments. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you guys next time.